Um, <coughs> that major's difference engine number one would have required 25,000 parts. So that was his earliest attempt. Um, it was very elaborate, it was very dense, it was very difficult to get into. Um, he then um, spent 10 years developing that, and see that the analytical engine, which is possibly more demanding than the difference engine, in the course of refining his techniques to meet a bigger challenge, he had to be ruthlessly economical, he had to simplify everything. He was fighting for time. He had to make devices which operated very, very quickly. And the reason is that he had to make time to do multiplication and division. So to make the time for things that were inherently time-consuming, he stripped down to the most elegant minimum the process of addition. And he used that technique in the position number two. So that is the most economical, simple, elegant design that he could come up with as a result of something that was much more demanding. So this was like a masterwork. He had really gone way beyond the techniques for this. And in the process of refining the techniques for the more demanding machine, he realized he could build a more elegant and economical difference engine. And that's the machine we built. So it's like a masterwork. He never built any part of it because he didn't need to. Because his, mo his understanding of it was so complete, it was elementary to him. One of the important aspects of Fumier or, or uh, of, a brush, of Japanese brush painting is the negative space, the space between the brush strokes, the, the silence, the, the void. And um, when you embarked on this extraordinary project, there were uh, many spaces and there were many uh, things that were stri stri extremely well documented, but there were many things that you had to look between. Yes, yes. And, yes. Um, uh, Babbage's silences are, he gave no description. The design is there. We decoded the design from the drawing. There is no written description of his designs. So if you like, this is very pure. It's not cluttered or interpreted by a frame of reference. Um, so he's saying, you make of it. You, 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 you supply this. I'm just supplying you the pure thought, if you like. Um, so there's no written description of any of his stuff. He wrote profusely, but very little detail. Nothing, nothing on his engines. So there's no explanation of how the engine worked. To access his ideas, you know, the purity of the ideas through the design. Um, uh, so those were the silences. The silences were the silences of speech. Um, and as far as silence, there were other silences. There are omissions. We needed the extra information. Um, to him, it possibly wasn't necessary because he would have given it to his work, and his work would have chosen the materials. But looking back, um, these are gaps, these are spaces. We didn't talk about the importance of the gap. Yes, there was a space. Was that held the important role of the absence and that space. He was intrigued by that. It right? gave him the space to think again, instead of being um, locked and obsessed and preoccupied with practicalities mm -hmm. and lots of Thank you so much. Uh, I very much enjoyed your Thank you very much.